Okay, you guys, welcome to class. This is uh, my speaking hour uh, for uh, for this hour, and uh, our topic is uh, going to be uh, happiness, uh, happiness or happy, okay, uh, things like that. Uh, so that is uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. The uh, link. Hopefully, if I got this link right, last uh, last time my link wasn't right. There we go. Cool. Uh, so yes, uh, the link that we'll be uh, going over is uh, right here. Hey, Abby. And uh, yes, so go ahead and open that up. All right. Uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, Mary, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Very good. And uh, Mary. Uh, Mary, where are you from? I'm from Spain. From Spain, excellent. Well, good, good to have you here in class. Uh, what do you do? Are you a, a student or do you work full time? I'm finishing my degree, so um, I wanna to to work in 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 a few months. <laughs> okay, all right. And uh, what uh, what did you get your degree in? Our tourism. In tourism, fabulous. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Mustafa? How are you? Mustafa, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. There you go. How you doing? I'm doing well. And you? I'm doing good, man. Thank you. And uh, and uh, what uh, what have you been up to today? I I, uh, I bet it's uh, what night time right now for you. Yeah, 10 p.m. Okay. Uh, how did your day go? What uh, what did you do? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, nothing I'm glad. But the, but the routine. But the routine. Okay. Well, I'm glad you were able to uh, come into class. It's good to have you here. Thank you. All right. Uh, how about uh, uh, Jasra? How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi there. Hi. I'm doing Hi. good. How about you? Good, good, good. How are the kids? They're doing well. Thank you for asking. They're <laughs> right now. They're they're out in the uh, they're out on the stairs and they're making uh, paper mache masks. And uh -oh. so they're making masks for themselves. So that's that's what they're doing. It's pretty fun. It's lovely. Yeah. How about yourself? How's uh, how's life treating you? Uh, it's a good. Good. Uh, no news. No news. Good news. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Sabri? How you doing? Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Everything good? Yes. Excellent. Uh, I am watching uh, Barcelona and uh, Bayern Munich match. <laughs> okay, and uh, who uh, who do you want to win? Uh, two two oh zero. Okay, do you uh, want uh, do you want the my, uh, Bayern Munich two uh, Barcelona zero? Oh wow! So Barcelona's losing. Yes. <laughs> and are you are you happy about that, or do you want uh, do you want Barcelona to win? Uh, my favorite. Uh, uh, um, my my favorite, uh, Bayern Munich. Okay, very cool, man. All right, well, that's okay. You can definitely be watching uh watching sports and go through class. No no problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, just be careful when there's a goal. Don't say go. Don't go crazy on me. Okay, <laughs> don't go crazy. All right, very cool. Let's uh let's see. We also have Liliana. Welcome back to class. Thank you, Chad. I, I was watching the football game as well, and I'm so happy. Oh, really? Because, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Bayern Munich, uh, I like that. Bayern Munich uh, will win the game, and, I hope, and I'm sure that they will this game. <laughs> cool. Now, what, uh, what are they playing for right now? Are they uh, playing for to compete in the uh, Mundial, or what's, uh, what's the deal no, right it's now? It's a, uh, a championship in Europe, no? It's a uh, Champions League. Okay, and so Champions League, Champions League okay. in Europe. Mm -hmm. Cool, very yeah. cool. So, in uh, what's the what's the name of the other team by uh, Bayern Munich and Barca? 
Okay, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you guys say those words. Uh, very cool. <laughs> very cool. Well, welcome welcome back to class. Good to have Thank you here. You. Thank you. Oh, Bayern Munich. Okay. Uh -huh. So yeah, if you if you say that with an English accent, that's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, yes, uh, now I can tell that they're from uh, Germany with the with the name of Munich. Okay, uh, how about uh, uh, Amar? How are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking as well. I had a good uh, a good lunch, relaxed a little bit, and then uh, I'm getting back in back into classes. <laughs> Very cool. Welcome welcome back to class, Amar. Good to see you again. Thanks. Thanks. Good to see you, sir. Uh, how about uh, Aida? Good evening, sir. Nice to see you again. Yes, good to see you as well. How was uh, how was your day today? Well, not very good because I'm trying to make my dough and it is almost impossible. I'm becoming crazy. Hey, so, what are you trying to make your daughter do? To uh, to make. When you take with uh, with another dog, just to have uh, oh, to happy. make your dog. Gotcha. Okay. I thought I thought you said make your daughter, and I was like, uh, no, make no. your daughter do what? But yes, you're trying to mate your dogs, and they they don't want to have anything to do with that right now, right? Is that no. that's the problem? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. So I'm becoming crazy, but uh, <laughs> apart from the, from that, I'm I'm really good. Okay, good. Now, what kind of a dog do you have? I have a Labrador, a black Labrador. Okay, yeah. When I was younger, we had a a white Labrador, and it was a wonderful dog. Yeah, wonderful. they are a wonderful dog, Labradors. I yeah. love them. Yeah, very very loving, uh, very kind, and and very playful as well. We had, we had a yeah. good time. Very good. Okay, let's see. We also have uh, Ahmed Khalil. How are you? I'm doing great. What's great. Chat? Uh, you changed your picture. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, look look a little different. Your other one had a uh, uh, what the was jacket? it? A brown jacket. Yeah, you had a brown yes. jacket on or something. Cool. So how's how's everything going, man? I'm really happy right now because I don't like Barca and he's losing right now. So what a lovely <laughs> evening, actually. Okay. All right. So that's it. Uh, uh, you're pretty happy right now because of that. Okay. Very cool, man. Well, welcome uh, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. And let's see, Abby, how are you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> yes, you are. Now yeah. you're back back for only only a little bit because you got to go. Uh, you got to start work in a in a couple of weeks, right? Right. Yes, yes, in a couple of weeks. I'm very nervous, and I oh, have what? to say, I have to uh -huh. say one thing, one What's thing. Uh, Visca Barça, okay? Because every everybody here is against Barça, and I am. Uh, well, I, uh, I love Barcelona. So okay, <laughs> there you go. Very cool. Yeah, I you know I have I have no opinion. Uh, just because <laughs> even even in in regular sports, unless we start talking about uh, mixed martial arts, uh, so fighting. So if uh, we start talking about fighting, then I would I would have an opinion. But other than that, any other sport, I'm like ah, it's fun to watch, have a good time. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, very cool. So you're you're a little nervous about your job? Yes, a little bit. And I have to go on Thursday afternoon there to start uh, meeting the the new um, the people who work in the in the company and all that. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't so, be nervous. You'll do you'll do just fine. I hope yep. so. And I, I've been. Um, Sorry, I can't uh, speak very well in English because I've been uh, all the afternoon practicing my French, and now I have a mix in my head. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm speaking in English, in French, in Spanish, and <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're doing. You're doing just fine. You're doing okay. just fine. <laughs> All right, very, very cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started, everybody. So the uh, link, the link is right here. Okay, go ahead and uh, and open that up.
And let's see, I can't remember if this one has a lot of questions or not. Nope, we don't have a whole lot of questions. That's fine. Uh, so uh, we'll just, uh, we'll probably, let's see, where are we at? Okay. Yeah, let's start at the bottom. So uh, so go ahead and, and scroll all the way down to the bottom, everybody. And uh, we're just going to go question by question because I don't have a whole bunch to scroll through. All right, so we'll just go question by question. And uh, we'll start off with, uh, with I believe, uh, over on the right-hand side. Yeah, Yashra. So, Yashra, let's start off with you. Okay. And, uh, and our question here. Our question here is, uh, do you feel that you have to work hard uh, and be miserable now in, tor in, sorry, in order to be happier later? So that means uh, working hard to save up money, spend your time doing that so that later in life you can kind of relax. Okay, does that, uh, does that kind of describe what's going on now or, um, or do you believe you do not have to do that? Uh, actually, in the beginning, I used to think that way. I used to keep working and working hard, and sometimes I lost my social life mm -hmm. because I'm keeping working all the time. Okay. Uh, but after a while, I realized it's not happening or it's not true because I don't know what will happen tomorrow. So I really decided to change my thinking about this issue. Okay. So... I don't think so, no. If you would like to feel happy, you feel it right now, don't make it to tomorrow. You can keep balance in your life. Sure. And, uh, you know, uh, on that topic, now this is sort of a sad story, but uh, um, when, I, when I was uh, in the United States, my wife was there with me. Um, we were uh, going through uh, legal proceedings and things like that. Um, uh, because she, she, we didn't know if she was going to have to be removed from uh, the U.S. or not, uh, which later obviously happened because we're not living in the United States. Um, and uh, I was working a lot, okay, working so much to the point where uh, um, it wasn't that I forgot our anniversary, uh, but I just didn't want to make time for it. I was like, ah, I'll wait, I'll wait until another day. Well, it just so happened that uh, when. Uh, um, uh, when it when it had happened, when they make a judgment, they come and get you immediately. Okay, and uh, so our our anniversary date is January eighteenth. Okay, mm -hmm. so they made a they made a judgment, and the next day on January nineteenth, my wife had to be removed from the country. Okay, okay, from the United States, and I was working with this with this mentality that you have to work and work and work and work and work and never uh, never take time to enjoy life and be with your family and I didn't even buy her flowers I didn't even do anything because I didn't want to make time I was like ah we'll do something on the weekend okay and that was the last time I ever made that mistake <laughs> because you never know you never know literally what will happen tomorrow that's absolutely yes. true yes Absolutely and, true. So and, and I do, I do believe that. And I think it's very good for you because you realized this right now, not later. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I still work, I still work hard, but I also make sure I make time for my family and, uh, and uh, do uh, uh, celebrate the, uh, the uh, fun things in life as well. So very cool. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Sabri. And Sabri, your question here is, um, yes. what was the happiest time in your entire life? When were you the happiest? What was? Uh, can, can you uh, my, uh, my time, mm, happiest, uh, my happiest, my time, uh, Happy uh, family, always. Okay, uh, so uh, being being with your family. Yes. Okay. Uh, All right. And, uh, and uh, my favorite team, uh, champion. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, it's it's about the same being with your family, and then when your favorite team is the champion. Right? <laughs> But <laughs> very funny. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Mustafa. And your question here is, um, okay, Mustafa, why are teenagers 
some of the happiest people in the world. Uh, this is not true, by the way, but... Okay. Uh, if I, true, uh, that uh -huh. would be because they don't have responsibilities. Alright. Okay, so if it's true, it's because they don't have responsibilities. Now, why don't you believe that's absolutely true? Mm, I, I really don't know, but uh, as um, as I see, as I noticed, the... Uh, my friends and our and th this this time period of teenagers aren't happy at all. I don't know why. Even they don't have responsibilities, by they they aren't happy. Hmm. Okay, that's a that's an interesting uh, uh, it's an interesting observation. And I've seen I've seen both sides. I've seen those who are very happy and those who seemingly would have everything, so uh, time, money, no responsibilities, they can do whatever they want to, uh, yet they're not happy, and they end up uh, doing drugs uh, or doing something that's, uh, that's harmful, you know, to try and feel happy. Uh, this is yeah, en so, envy? <laughs> what's that? Envy? I, I, I didn't get that. Say that one more time. Envy, envy. Envy. Oh, en envy, um... <laughs> I don't know if they would be envy because um, uh, a lot of times the, the people that I saw, they were kids that came from a lot of money. So their parents had a lot of money, um, but their parents were never around. Okay, Their parents weren't there to, to spend time with them as a family. And, uh, and so they were just unhappy, even though they had everything. Okay, They had everything that you would think would make a person happy. They weren't happy. Okay, what they really wanted was uh, was uh, some sort of a, a relationship with with someone, and they didn't have that, and so they went outside uh, to try and, and create those type of relationships, and uh, uh, in some cases it uh, it just went very bad for them. But yeah, I could see both both sides that how yes, teenagers uh, could be happy because they don't have any responsibilities, but also the other side as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Very good. Well, I, I thank thank you for your answer. I like that very. Uh, very intuitive. Uh, let's go to uh, Mary. Yes. And let's see, Mary. Uh, so look deep inside of your life, okay? And and tell me, uh, what is missing in your life that would make you very happy? <laughs> what would make you very happy? In my life, uh, the money is missing. In <laughs> <laughs> all of us. All of us. Mary. All of us, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> because not. I had some more money. Um, I think I could travel and uh, I could uh, enjoy more the life, the, okay. the pleasure of the life. Yeah. Okay. So uh, maybe with a little bit more money, okay, yeah. or a lot more money, <laughs> depending, uh, you could enjoy life a little more, and that would that would uh, bring you uh, bring you some more ha some more happiness. I'm not and more free time. And more free time, okay. Because you don't have to to work. Okay, all right. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, let's go to uh, Liliana. Mm -hmm. And now I, I think I'm at one week, a one week straight where I've said your name correctly. So I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Yes, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Liliana, um, do you think some nations are happier than others? Um, yes, because uh, there are many countries that uh, they have a lot of poverty and uh, they don't have access to many things that may be in other countries. In other socialist countries, and uh, the government could help them uh, in, in education to get access to the education and uh, to to have the uh, to have money enough money to pay your uh, basic expenses and um, in South America there are many uh, we are un underdeveloped countries mm -hmm. so and we have a big difference between uh, rich uh, level and poor level they don't have uh, anything so uh, I think uh, maybe in uh, in other, but I I, I heard that uh, in socialist countries I don't know I, I think I told you before that uh, for example uh, people who 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 has who, who, ha who has uh, everything in life 
they are not happy as well. Uh, so I think it's, uh, because they don't they don't have any uh, anything uh, to to face in life. Like things is uh, like uh, to be in the middle. <laughs> but yes, uh, I think. Okay. Yeah. So okay. that's my personal opinion about it. Okay. So do you think uh, do you think that uh, maybe socialist nations are happier than than other nations or or, are, or would they be unhappier? Mm, I think certain way they are unhappier because um, they have uh, uh, everything and uh, maybe if you um, uh, face uh, some problems in your life they uh, they make you stronger and they make you happy when you when you be success in something that you really want. Um, but, but anyway, if you don't have anything, okay. you can't be happy. So sure, think. yeah, it's, a, it's, it's hard to be happy when you're hungry, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is a difficult thing. Uh, yeah, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fine, uh, it's a fine, fine line. It, mm -hmm. it, it really is, you know, to, uh, to say, well, this is the absolute best way to do things, or this is the absolute best way to do things. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's hard. <laughs> It, it really is. Yeah. Well, uh, thank thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your answer. Let's go to uh, Amar. Yes. Okay, Amar. Uh, your question is: uh, What do you think of the idea of government having a government happiness minister who is responsible for the happiness of the population? What do you think of that? This uh, sort of idea. I think the the person who. He is responsible for his happiness. Okay, and and yeah. not uh, uh, so. Are you telling me, Amar, that you are not responsible for my happiness? That's a that was a sort of a joke. Yes, Amar, <laughs> you are not you're not responsible for my happiness. Okay, so we we as individuals we're we're responsible for our our own happiness, right? And how yeah, we how we take care of things. Yeah, because maybe the the government uh, give you money, give you some uh, place to make you happy, but y you don't make yourself uh, happy. Uh, you can make yourself happy without money, without anything. But uh, did you say you, you can't or you can? can you can okay all right yes yeah well thank you thank you very much uh, thank you for your answer so you know as individuals are responsible for our uh, our own happiness and having a a government happiness minister uh, may be a, a, a silly idea in uh, in your mind okay uh, thank you let's go to our next question and this is for Ida Ida um, do you need money to be happy? Well, uh, clearly no. Uh, it's, I think that is uh, true that you need at least a, a little amount of money to to live. I mean, to pay your food, your bills, and um, your rent or whatever. Uh, however, um, I have realized that uh, with at least in my case, with little money, I can survive perfectly. Um, I I think I sometimes I ask why because uh, I have realized that uh, things that makes me happy that, that really really makes me happy are not related to money. For example, being with your family, being with your friends uh, are not related to money. So I I usually try to make the most of everything with with the little money that I have. Yeah, yeah. But finally, I have to confess that I would like to have uh, more money to at least to travel around the world because I would like to meet a lot of places. And well, sometimes I would like to have more money, but for me, it's not need. I don't need money to be happy. Clearly, no. Well, well. Here's here's a question: um, Is it wrong? Is it wrong to want to make more money? What? Is, is it wrong? Okay, is it wrong to want to make more money? For me? 
yeah. So is it is it is it wrong? Uh, personally, I, I don't believe it's wrong uh, to want to to uh, make more money. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, when it becomes wrong is when I push you out of the way. When I you know, and when I do something uh, wrong, okay, to be better than another person. If we're, yeah. if we're not, if I'm not helping someone else along as well, I, as I'm doing it, I, in my opinion, that's that's wrong. But to just you know push someone out of the way and and, and do something nefariously, which would mean uh, with an evil heart, okay. If that's if that's your whole intention for making money, then that that's that's wrong for me. But wanting to make more money necessarily isn't wrong. No, it's not it's yeah. wrong. It's, you are not so ambitious to do that. You are referring to that. Uh, making vaccines to other people, it's it, for me. It's okay, but um, you have to. Everyone should should balance uh, what we have to. Uh, five minutes ago, your work and your life, and mm -hmm. what it compensates more to you. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, cool. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, all right, our uh, next question is uh, this one here, and let's see, Ahmed, uh, what is or what was the happiest time of your life? Hmm. Well, I think it doesn't come yet, you know, it doesn't come yet. Okay. All right, I don't have you know had, actually. okay, what, uh, what do you imagine uh, the happiest time of your life being like? Well, I don't know. Maybe after achieving my goals, uh, that would be my happiest uh, time of my life. But actually, I don't know. I I think that people um, even don't have uh, measures for measuring, you know, uh, happiness. There is no optimum okay. level for being happy. But actually, backing it to the point that uh, I think uh, Liliane or Liliana was talking about, she was talking that uh, some um, countries uh, that uh, don't have poverty. Uh, that have poverty are less happier than the others. But actually, I disagree with that because I read an article before that some Scandinavian countries who are living in good conditions are having the highest level of committing suicides. Uh, so I think it, it doesn't relate to poverty or um, education or uh, economical or political st status at, uh, at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I. You know, and I would, and it, this is just my two cents. Okay, when you when you don't have anything to uh, push forward towards, or to work and to strive towards, okay, that's when we feel like we don't have a purpose. Okay, and that's when you end up, you know, blowing blowing your brains out. Okay, you don't feel like you have a purpose. You don't you don't have any any reason to get up and and strive and work. Okay, and and uh, and and make things make things happen, you know. Yes. Uh, that that may be one of those reasons because um, everything is is given to him. I think Amar was talking a little bit about that. Where I mean, yeah, the government can can give you everything, and you don't have to go out and work or whatever. Um, I mean, that may be good for a time when you may be in trouble, but you know, get maybe having that desire okay mm -hmm. uh, or in these countries that you've read about uh, Ahmad uh, Ahmed sorry they uh, they may have not had any desires because things were being given to them instead of having to work for it I don't know just my um, just exactly, my two cents yeah. mm -hmm. and sorry can I jump in it and sure. they get depressed about it because they have everything in life mm -hmm. so most yeah. of the time they, they get depressed about their lives sure mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Abby. I got your name right this time as well. I've been practicing. <laughs> These two weeks that I haven't seen you, I've been like, Abby. Abby. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> next question here. Uh, does your happiness change during different times of the day, week, month, or year? Um, well, um Yes, uh, sure, uh, it changed, but um, I, I wanted to say that uh, many people is just um, wanting to, uh, wanted to get an absolute happiness, you know, like being happy every day of your life. 
And uh, I think uh, it's not possible to be uh, happy every day in your life. There, I would uh, agree. Uh, there's always something that happens uh, in a bad way. And just you, um, you don't have to be worried about that. You only have to um, um, uh, know how to um, be happy with little pleasures every day. You know, like for example, yeah. uh, listening to a song you like uh, the most, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's something it make, uh, that makes you happy. And uh, this is the the way that people should be should be happy, uh, looking for those little pleasures that um, are important in in our lives. All right, I like that. Yeah, yeah. because uh, we can't. We're, we're not going to be happy every day, every moment of our life. <laughs> yeah. it's 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 just Im impossible. It's, it's impossible. Absolutely yeah. impossible. Yeah. You know, but but you can uh, uh, like what you're you were saying. You could you can strive to look for, you know, the positive things and and look at life and, and be happy because of uh, because of those little things. That's what I, that's what I like to do. Okay, it, it really is. Um, and and in this time, honest to goodness, when uh, when I was uh, when I forgot my didn't forget I, I, I don't want to make my, that mistake when I didn't uh, when I didn't want okay that's what it really was I did not want to take time out and celebrate our anniversary okay I was a jerk I, was, I just want to work all day okay um, so when I did that I wasn't really I wasn't really happy I was I was planning I was working at just making money that's that's what my sole purpose okay and I and that's all I was doing okay now mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that that time, yeah, I I I was in real estate and we were we were doing well, things like that. Okay, but now mm -hmm. I could care less. I could care <laughs> less. I'm probably the happiest that I've been in uh, in my whole entire life, living it outside of my home country, uh, but but being with my family and uh, you know teaching teaching English from home. Am I going to become a millionaire? Nope, not going to happen. Right? But I hope to one day be able to buy a house, you know, probably 25 years down the road after saving <laughs> up money for it. But, you know, that's, a, yeah. that's, a, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. I'm cool yeah. with that. I'm cool with that. But uh, I like that. I like that. Looking for, the, looking for those little moments in life. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say a phrase. Uh, I don't remember who, who said that phrase, but uh, I think it's, it's very important to know it. And it says uh, something like, uh, "Life is what goes away while you're worried about planning other things." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. That's nice. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Yasra. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, what affects your levels of happiness? Uh oh. <laughs> Coffee? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course. This is the most important thing in, in my day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, uh, no. Actually, uh, several, uh, several actions or several factors can affect my levels of happiness. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm European, I'm European one nowadays, the political situations uh, just effects uh, just effect on my level of happiness of course uh, sometimes the, fi the financial responsibilities also affects and um, you know to have something you would like to do it and to do it perfectly of course it may be effect on you but ah, uh, that's yeah but uh, I think if you will decide and Take uh, take a serious uh, decision to feel happy from inside. This is will affect more on your life. Like this, you can enjoy your life more. I think it comes from inside, not from outside. Sure. Yeah, I I, I would agree with you. Those were those were uh, excellent points, and I think we all we all go through that. Um, where you have certain things, you're like, oh, I may, maybe it's a little stressful. Okay, and you're not, um, 
and, and you're, you're worried about it. It doesn't mean that you're absolutely sad and depressed, but you're worried about it. You're like, oh, I don't know how we're going to do this, or you know, I, I can't do this very well. But that's that, that struggle in life that we're, that we're talking about, which, uh, which isn't necessarily a, uh, a bad thing. You know? and, and, and which is normal, which is normal. And sure, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I and agree. Also, and also, uh -huh. I agree with Apelia. Abelia? Uh, Aida, I believe. Or Aida or no. Abby. Abigail. Abby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Abby. Uh -huh. when, when she said we can listen to something we like, like music or something, this is mm -hmm. a very good idea. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. For for me, I like to I like to go run. Uh, me going and running that that usually clears my mind, uh, clears my thoughts, things like that, and I get to breathe in uh, in nice air and uh, kind of clear my clear my mind and uh, and get the endorphins moving throughout my body. So that's that's the best. Uh, very cool. Thank you. Let's go to uh, I believe this is Sabri. Yes. All right, Sabri. Uh, your question is. Um, uh, what is there to be happy about in the world today? Uh, uh, I'm happy to live in uh, a beautiful, uh, uh, live to my family, and uh, I love to people. Maybe. Okay. Uh, so, uh huh. And and that's uh, that's something that you're you're happy about here in the world that you have your family with you. Okay, and a lot of uh, people that I would imagine you care about that live around you. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. I, I like that. I like that. Uh, all right. Let's go to um, now, Mustafa. You wanted to answer that uh, that last question, right? So, um, uh, what is or was the happiest time of your life? Was that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, um, there is a, a lot of times for sure, but the best time or the the time which ha become the happiest one is about um, zero point zero zero four one percent percentage of my age till now. Sorry, uh, I'm economist. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um, this time where was oh my God. Uh, when I was at uh, Al Madina. Was the happiest person ever? Um, okay. Yeah, and, and and is that is that a place where what's it called? Uh, Al Medina. Al Medina. And where is that at? Uh, at Saudi Arabia. And and why was that the happiest time of your life? Um, by the way, I think all the Arabs here know it, but it's okay. uh, a, a holy city, you know. Ah, okay. Um, uh, just uh, I can I can describe, but the people there are so kind. Mm -hmm. um, life there is awesome. Um, uh, they, they are bad ones. They are have technology and so uh, all all the life facilities are there. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, it's a holy city. You, you all the people uh, who been there. They say, "Oh my God, it has a." A magical sense of uh, comfort. Just you, you said there. Oh my God! What's the comfort I feel? Great. Just. Cool. Yeah. So, so a a holy place um, or religious place, something like holy that, place. can uh, well, can uh, can bring you uh, great happiness as well. Thank you for uh, thank you for sharing. That's you see, great. Do you see this tableau behind me? Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I see that. Is that this what is it looks one. like? Yeah. This is one. Very beautiful. Great. Very beautiful. Awesome. Great. Very cool. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, all right. Let's go to uh, Liliana. Mm -hmm. And your question here. Where are we at? Um, Uh, let's. I don't know. This may be a, a dumb question, but we'll see. Uh, do you agree that older people are less happy? Uh, I think it depends. Uh, maybe <laughs> yes. If uh, if they are in a good shape, 
I think they um, they they could be happy uh, with their life if they uh, share a good time with friends and family. If, if their family consider them as a part of the family uh, at this moment, uh, but. Uh, when they um, sometimes people forgot uh, to to share or to integrate uh, all people to their families, and they mm -hmm. consider that uh, they won't be able to uh, to share uh, their opinions or <clears throat> or just to listen to them. What are their they feeling? What what are they feel? Uh, what are uh, their opinions and uh, to uh, and and I think to, to to play games with them to to, to avoid these uh, uh, mental diseases and uh, when when they suffer for these mental diseases uh, I think it's terrible uh, but uh, I think depend of the family if you um, because uh, I um, I saw that uh, some families uh, only uh, share with them uh, weekends. I, I know that they are busy during the, the week, but uh, they only uh, go out with them like an obligation, you know, like a, a pleasure to be with them, to to uh, to have a great moments. It's like a, an obligation, so I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I think that uh, they they will uh, important to us in every moment of our life, and they help us when we were uh, young or uh, when we um, uh, they they happy about our goals. So it's the moment to to share with them uh, our lives as well. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, let's uh, let's go to. Uh, uh, Dogan, how are you? Fine, I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, well, how about how about this question right here? Uh, Dogan, do you wake up happy every morning, or are you like, oh no? <laughs> actually, uh, I'm uh, not waking up at the morning. I'm uh, sleeping at the morning because I'm. Uh, Watching codes at the nine during the near to come uh, morning and then sleeping. Uh, this uh, question not for me. Okay. I think. That's fine. I, I can I can barely barely understand you. There's a lot of vibration uh, yeah. when you're when you're speaking. I, I just heard uh, this question's not for me. That's fine. Um, so how about uh, how about this next one here? Uh, are you uh, are uh, how happy are you compared with your friends? Yeah, actually, it's it's good for me. Uh, say that one more time. Fine, I'm happy when I'm seeing them. Okay, and and why do why do you think you're happy when you when you see them? Uh, because. Uh, I love them. They are kind and helpful friends. They are uh, always helping me in that situation. Um, yeah, that's uh, the best word. I'm happy when I compare them. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Dogan. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go to. Uh, Amar? Yes. All right, and we've all had uh, had times like this. Um, so, uh, when what's the most miserable you've been, and and what did you do to uh, kind of lift yourself up out of that misery or that sadness that you were in? I don't know, actually. <laughs> okay, you want me to find another one? Hey, man. Another question, please. Sure, sure. Um, okay, um, do you want to do this one, or do you want me to do a different one? This is uh, what makes you unhappy. Uh, unhappy. Uh, mm, 
if I if I told you uh, I will pick you up at seven exactly seven no minute uh, no seven past one or seven past two and I come in and you uh, are not ready to go yeah come maybe seven uh, past ten maybe there is my uh, my blood is like <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, you uh, you don't like it you don't like it when um, uh, people are late is that right yeah I am if you told me I need you at seven o'clock past one past ten second I will be there <laughs> the exact um yeah I even uh, if you uh, told me uh, your appointment maybe seven and I am in my home I not uh, and the the time between my home and the appointment maybe ten minutes I don't go go out uh, uh, to, to, to ten minutes maybe half an hour I always come uh, early Interesting. That's why, now, yeah. Is that is that something that your parents taught you? No, no. I no. This is my uh, from it's myself. Your, the, yeah. Okay, it's your is, own uh, personal. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's how you uh, how you live. It's a it's a rule that you set yeah. for yourself. Yeah, okay. I I don't uh, I don't like uh, I like to be uh, organized about time. <laughs> Okay, yeah. and that's uh, that's not a bad thing at all. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Ida. Yeah. And let's see. Okay, so Ida, are you very happy most of the time? Uh, well, I think that yes. I consider myself a happy person. Yeah. So yes, and I uh, I think it's related because I'm very optimistic about all the things and I appreciate very much all that little things in life in the day to day that we have been awesome. talking about and that makes me that I, re I have realized that that makes me very happy uh, I don't know moreover I when I feel down or when I feel blue I, I always have my dog here there you go here. It's true. It, they, dogs are always happy, and when you are in, maybe in some moments that you are feel down or sad, uh, the dog is always coming to you, want to play with you, and he's always happy. And trust me, it's the it happiness to you it's, mm -hmm. it's great. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It's a good All medication right. for, for depression, dogs, or <laughs> or for your yeah. life, not for depression. I think uh, that's animals in general. Animals in yeah, uh, animals, animals yeah, in general yeah. can uh, can do a lot of good with uh, with helping you kind of work through issues and things like that. I like that. Yeah. Very cool. All right. How about uh, let's see, uh, Ahmed. Let's see. Your question <laughs> is: uh, Are the people in your country generally very happy? <laughs> Absolutely yes. <laughs> they are very very happy yes. We live in a great um, economical status right now, and we have a great president, and we have a great uh, group called Muslim Basad World are ruling our country. Uh -huh. So why not? We are very very happy. Very cool, and and so it's all of those all of those different things that are uh, uh, that attribute to your your country's happiness. Is that uh, is that what you uh, you would agree to? No, actually, I'm. I'm are you being I'm are you being sarcastic? Yes, actually, I'm very sarcastic okay. <laughs> because it's uh, very, very sad, uh, sad nowadays in Egypt. Yeah, I think also that Yusra is as an Egyptian. Uh, yes. So, uh, so uh, yeah, <laughs> that's ah, why okay. you are being in a bad condition right, uh, right that's now. That's why I just opened my mouth widely <laughs> as much as I can. I, I didn't, I didn't know, uh, you know, because what there could be, so you could be, he could have been serious. I mean, and really, there's no uh, right or wrong answers. And so I was just like, okay, if that's your answer, that's your answer. I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, make any uh, any judgments on it or anything like that. So, okay, so sarcasm. 
Sarcasm just got me. Uh, nice. Okay, so uh, what's your what's your true feeling? Actually, I'm I'm very sad. Um, I w I was thinking after the revolution that we could live together uh, in a new condition after living under dictatorship for more uh, than thirty years. But actually, no. Actually, we're getting now in worse conditions, and we're living in worse uh, dictatorship uh, than before. So that's why there is no freedom at all. Um, people are, are getting killed in the streets or demonstrating. Uh, still have the same problems. That's why I'm feeling sad. Wow. So it uh, it got it got worse. Now I you know I I had heard. Um, well, it's it's interesting because in the United States, um, well, especially uh, um, uh, President Obama's uh, uh, um, administration, um, they were they were very uh, very happy that the Muslim Brotherhood were were going to be uh, ruling there in your country. Uh, personally, I don't know uh, a whole lot. Okay, I I have read other reports and things like that that uh, it was not the best best uh, thing to have happen there in Egypt. Uh, but I don't know because I'm not I'm not living there, and uh, yeah. So I had heard conflicting uh, reports on uh, on on both of them. But you know, if if that's how, if that's how you feel, I'll take uh, I'll take your word for it that it's uh, not uh, not a, a good situation there in uh, Egypt right now. Yes, as as also Yusra mentioned before about our real uh, life now in Egypt, we're just living in a bad condition. Uh, that's why we're sad. That's what. Sad. That's sad. Thank you. Okay. Sure, no problem, no problem. All right, thank you. Uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, Abby. Okay. All right, and Abby, uh, how often do you uh, do you feel really happy? Uh, actually, uh, not much. <laughs> uh, not very often because of this crisis we have uh, in Spain and. Um, for example, here uh, at home, my boyfriend is uh, unemployed, mm -hmm. and um, I I have the new job, but I'm going to earn very little money, and we can't both uh, continue living together if he uh, doesn't find uh, work early. Mm -hmm. So. I'm not really happy nowadays. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, difficult situation there in uh, in many many cities or many countries there in uh, in Europe. Uh, yes. And what uh, um, what uh, what do you think can be done to uh, to solve it? What can you repeat? Uh, what do you think can be done to solve it there? Oh. Uh, I don't know because uh, I, I am not an economist or something <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, um, I'm not a politician too, so either, sorry. So um, I don't know uh, what uh, people can do to solve this problem, but uh, I know that um, we we need a solution for for this big problem because 25% of the population are unemployed so i think it's a, a real a real drama here okay do you think that the uh, the european union is going to uh, uh, come and, and uh, help out spain come and help bail you guys out or? <laughs> i don't think so and um I don't think so. Uh, I'm laughing because uh, all the all that European Union is doing for Spain is to sink the the country more than it was. <laughs> it's my okay. opinion, but okay. I don't know. <laughs> sure, no problem. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, Yasra. Yes. And. Uh, let's see, uh, Yastra, is happiness uh, a goal? Yes. Is it something to uh, to work for? Okay. Yes, it's a goal. It's a goal, and um, it needs to dedicate more time and more intention to achieve it. It's not an easy one, but uh, if you will consider it, you will achieve it. You will get it. 
I like that. Very positive. You're a very positive person, Yasha. Yes. Do you know why? I read a book so? about the seven the seven habits of highly effective people. Ah, yes. And yeah, and uh, there was a chapter talking about this kind of uh, feelings and how can you uh, control the the atmosphere that around you and how to decide to change it by yourself and don't let it change on you. That's which is true. very I... convincing for me and I like it so much. Um, Stephen Covey, who uh, wrote that book, um, yeah. uh, he, uh, he was from the state where I used to live called Utah and uh, I actually got to, uh, to meet him. Um, one of my uh, buddies worked for his, uh, his, uh, his company there, but yes, uh, definitely I got to meet him before he died. He died, uh, I think, a few years ago because of a, it was like a motorcycle accident or something like that. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, that's, a, that's a great, great book, okay, uh, to help you realize, uh, help you realize what, uh, what, you can, uh, what you can do um, uh, with yourself. Okay, and how to how to motiv motivate yourself um, to uh, to to be better and and be better. It, it's a relative term, okay. In in whatever whenever you're you're seeking, okay. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would agree that uh, that happiness is uh, is a goal, and just like what Abby was uh, was talking about, okay. Um, it's the it's those little little things, okay. Ida was talking about it as well. I think Yashra as well, um, where it's the it's the little things um, that uh, that you can look at, all right, that that bring you happiness. I've certainly learned that uh, from going uh, and 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 making a lot of money, okay. I didn't make a lot of money, but I wasn't necessarily happy. I was stupid. I was stupid. So money doesn't no, necessarily no, make no, you happy. Okay, so. No, I was. I was. I was. <laughs> That's what I, I Okay, I was I was experienced. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it was it was uh, it wasn't the smartest. But uh, um, now that doesn't mean that uh, that money always always makes you uh, uh, make you a dummy. But um, anyway, that's that's just my my two cents. But I wanted to talk a, a little bit about uh, happiness and how we kind of uh, um, encourage each other uh, and things like that because I think it, it comes uh, uh, from from other people as we encourage each other, especially when we're trying to learn a, a, a language as frustrating as English can be. So, thank you guys for coming to class. You guys were all uh, all great. I uh, liked all of your comments. Okay, and uh, and I'll uh, see you in another classroom. Okay. 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 Thank Bye. you. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.